In Hot Springs Village, homeowners are cleaning up after last Thursday's tornado that downed trees and left them without power. As Brooke Buckner reports, people are coming together to help out in any way they can. I'm really very fortunate. Grace Brunel has seen a lot in her 99 years, but not a storm like this. I didn't panic or anything like that, but I thought, what in the world, you know? because when the trees fell on the house, it made a pretty good noise. Now she's trying to get her house back to normal. Is this your most damaged room? Yes, yes. I see right and, there on the uh -huh. Probably this whole wall will have to be redone because of the water damage. Brunel went without power from Thursday night to Sunday night, but thankfully her daughter Sharon was able to take her in. She says several others are helping her too. All the neighbors were called in for a meal, so that was nice. According to a Hot Springs Village press release, the tornado impacted more than 100 homes and 58 have major damage. That's why volunteers and other disaster relief organizations are helping with the recovery. Red Cross set up at Balboa Baptist Church Monday to give out supplies. Uh, that includes, you know, mops, shovels, work gloves, goggles, you know, cleaning supplies, all of those things to try to help uh, aid as they get their, their life back, you know, as normal as they could after a disaster like this. Red Cross communications manager John Brimley says volunteers and staff also did several damage assessments across the area. And now we're just here just trying to make sure we can get an accurate count uh, and then do the best that we can to help them uh, on their recovery. So neighbors like Brunel can have their house feel like a home again. In Hot Springs Village, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News.